Hey guys, this is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21, and today's the top 5 mods in Saints Row the 3rd. Today's top 5 was suggested by Dan TDM. Whatever. One of the worst things about Saints Row the 3rd was the absence of Johnny Gad, but thanks to this mod by Datasnake, we can finally have him as a homie. He replaces Josh Burke on your phone, and when you call him, he'll show up in the Gatmobile. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any of his own audio, but it still beats that stupid zombie or Johnny Tag. At number 4 we have the Avatar mod. This mod replaces the Decker.Die mission which is the Avatar in Free Roam. So instead of just playing this beast in a single mission, you can play with it in Free Roam for as long as you want. It's a shame Volition put so much effort into their missions rather than the Free Roam, this would have been a cool unlockable. It would have been nice to see this in Saints Row 4 as well. The additional cheat mod adds over 70 new cheats to the game and gives you access to a bunch of vehicles you can't normally unlock. There's a lot of interesting things this mod has to offer. The Saints Row 2 Roots mod is awesome. It basically takes elements from Saints Row 2 and has its own modifications that make the game a lot more enjoyable. The NPC spawns have changed so that more lively areas will have people, and a bunch of new random events have been added to make the city feel more alive. The police and gangs have been highly modified to feel more realistic. You'll no longer fight brutes or specialists, but the overall difficulty of the game has highly been raised. As an added bonus, there's new models for the police and gangs too. Man, all of this should have been in the game in the first place. But the best thing about this mod I must say is the zombie cheat. Man, I can't even describe how epic this cheat is now. If it was just this modification alone, it would still be in the same spot on this list. At number 1, we have Sandbox Plus. Surprisingly, the Sandbox Plus for Saints Row 3 is a lot better than Saints Row 4. There's a lot more options and there's a lot more you can do. And the superpowers you can activate with the Sandbox Plus is almost better than the superpowers in Saints Row 4. Anyways, there's so much more to Sandbox Plus. You can teleport to any location you want, you can watch any cutscene, there's just so much you can do. I love Sandbox Plus. Thank you, Idle Ninja. You're a god. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to suggest a top 5, please leave a comment below. A special thanks to Dan TTM for the suggestion. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.